All right, so we're picking up from where we left off, and we're actually going to go ahead and union all the, the three months' data together. Okay, so once we've done one union, we add the third union onto that initial union, and we've got a nice uh, three-way union here. And then we've got all these uh, mismatched... Oh, well, first of all, there's a bug. Okay, I'm not going to go into how much time I spent trying to investigate this bug, but it's there, and there's not much we can do about it. Okay, but we're going to go through, and this is just connecting the mismatched uh, columns together. So it's quite a useful little thing. So just different phrasings of the column names. So there we go. So we can see if looking across that every single column has a match. Um, yeah, so until uh, Tableau fixes this bug, the one solution I've come up with is just add an output, export it to Hyper. Looks like we're not exporting any data, um, but as you will see in the next clip um, or the next uh, you know section of this video it does actually work so that has exported a hyper file we're going to create a new flow and that flow is going to import the tableau extract that we just made there it is and yeah all the data has come through which is good so we're just going to go back and we're going to close the old one after this so we just have a quick look to make sure it's all in there yeah. removing file names removing unnecessary columns here okay yep all right so we go ahead and we save this new flow as flow 2 just putting it on the desktop. Oh, we almost overrode uh, initial flow one. Then we're going to close down flow one because we don't need that anymore. And at this point here, we realize there is actually a, a tiny error in the data or a little hassle for us. And that is, if you bear with me, you will see as we aggregate by ISBN and title. For some reason, did you see that? I think it brought in rank when I dragged in title, which is a bit odd, isn't it? Yeah, well, at least I've got video footage of it now. But okay, so I get a bit confused here, thinking why the hell have I got rank in here? But if we drag in a uh, title, we can do a count distinct, and we can see that certain ISBNs have multiple different titles. Um, I think the Jordan Peterson book is an example that we come back to later on. But for now, what we do is we keep title as a grouping. So these are unique ISBNs and unique titles. And then we drag in the week. But we haven't formatted the week as a date yet. So we go ahead and do that just simply. And uh, I've checked it before and it works out fine. It doesn't get confused with American dates. So we're lucky there. Um, but always something to check. Okay. So what's happening here? What I'm doing here is I want to determine the maximum date, so the latest date for each ISBN, because my plan is to only keep the title of the book at the maximum, the latest instance. Okay, and the reason why I'm doing this is just because, um, you know, in uh, in Tableau, when you've got multiple different titles for the same ISBN, it's, it's just going to confuse it, and we might even get that asterisk, you know, when you it's trying to show two things at once. So what we do here is we go through and we find the latest the latest date for each ISBN. Okay. And then we match these up, I think. Yep. So we match it by ISBN, but we also match it by week. So in this case here, we've, we're only keeping the latest uh, title. Yeah. So I'm just uh, pretty much just pointing that out here. And we no longer need the duplicate versions of the same column, so we just go ahead and remove it. And we don't even need the week, really, for our records. All we want is the latest title. Yep. 
So we're going to go ahead and rejoin this back to the original data set. So yeah, there we go, there we go. I'm demonstrating the 12 rules for life one. That an example of a ISBN with duplicate titles. Adding a branch, dragging it over, making a merge, merging by ISBN, not title. So we just got to correct that. Okay, and yeah, um, I don't think left join was necessary there, but uh, it didn't make much difference to me um, for this for this join at least. And then we can see an example here, and we just remove the the column that we no longer need. So that twelve rules, we can see it is a single uh, ISBN, and if we drag across we can see the original two different uh, titles. So we no longer need that, that column anymore. All right, so that's, uh, that's how we remove duplicate instances of a title without losing any of our data.